everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm very hot, I'm very sweaty. It's really muggy here, so sorry. You got this. Um, probably have to put my hair up again. Is that wearing a scarf? Anyway, welcome back. Now this is part two of the story. Now I haven't reworked the last video. To be honest, I haven't filmed, I haven't edited, I have not been in the mood for luxury YouTube. There, I've said it. I think a number of stressors, this being the main one, like it just it just put me off luxury. I was like, I'm just gonna focus on the rest of my life and try and make a go of that and just um, put this stuff aside. I just, yeah, it just, um, I think the frustration, I know this is not big deal stuff, but the frustration um, bothered me. So, in part two, I'll give you an update. I think where I left you was that I was trying to get Hardly Ever Worn It to sew the bag at a price at least somewhat resembling of the price I'd already bought the bag for. Now that didn't go so well. Uh, it really didn't. They're not good customer service. Um, you know, you could speak to someone. They're from their job title, a little bit more senior than you think would, you know, they'd be able to make a decision and that they'd try and, you know, put things into the position they should have been had they not made the errors. And I would have things like, yeah, we'll, we'll call you, we'll call you in two hours. Two days later, nothing. Um, so I probably have been a bit persistent and I probably have a bit been a bit of a pain in the ass. But that's because it pushed a button in me, and the button it pushed in me is being ignored. Don't ignore me. Be honest, be upfront, have some balls, and tell me the honest truth. And that's the button in me that it pushed. So yeah, so in terms of Hardly Ever Worn It, so I think they tried to do the right thing by buying the bag off the individual seller. However, they did balls up and they didn't understand that, you know, they're supposed to be expert curators. They didn't understand the difference between Togo and Berenia and did something to the bag. They then bought a bag of someone that, according to the advice that I received, allegedly did not have the authority to sell such an item. I'm not a lawyer, I'm not going to state that as fact. That's what I was told by a legal company in the UK. Um, and then they just didn't reply. It got to the point where I know I was obsessing over this too much. I needed to, I needed to let it go. I needed closure. I needed to let it go one way or the other. I did one final reach out via WhatsApp. So basically, I'm hardly ever worn it. You can make an offer via WhatsApp. I did that. I got, I did it like, a really, like about seven in the morning. Thinking, oh yeah, they'll get to it when they get to it. Like little hi, blah. I didn't say it was me, but I didn't say it wasn't me. I just, you know, I mean, they've ever seen from my profile that it's me. It's my name and my address and email and everything. It's like no secret, no hiding, but no explicit um, disclosure either. But like, why should I? It's I'm just trying to buy a bag, you know. Um, and yeah, I got a reply within like minutes. I was like, oh, not early. Like, waiting so early. Like, mm, that's fine. Um, they said they'd get back to me later that day, they'd have to check with the seller. Now I didn't say that I knew the seller was them. I was like, let's just not go there, let's just see what happens. Um, and then I had nothing all day and I was like, oh here we go again. Um, but then in the evening I did get a reply from the same person I'm assuming, um, via WhatsApp, it's like it's a business account so I don't, it wasn't named. Um, so I did get a response and we agreed a price and I basically... bag. Um, so that was on the weekend, I think that was on the Saturday, and so it'd be dispatched by DHL on Monday or Tuesday. It was dispatched on the Monday, and it arrived at quarter past seven in the evening on the Tuesday. We're now the Wednesday. And when I got home, which was a bit late because I was out for a meal, um, you can see the size of the box. I'm like, that baby box. The original seller, who has now blocked me on Facebook. I hadn't contacted him for since the 
I hadn't contacted him for weeks. It's not like I was pestering him. I literally hadn't. The last thing he said to me was he'd let me know when he was in a position to sell me the bag that he had in his possession. Um, and yeah, it's blocked me. Interesting. Like I said, I, didn't, I was like, whatever. I now know what the truth is. Um, there's no point in me contacting you because you have, you know, you're irrelevant now. Um, so yeah, so I don't know what the point was in that. Anyway, so this box came. Not very big. Quite sturdy. I said it's a sturdy box. It's not a very big box. This is how the bag came. So the bag had some tissue paper, literally a thin sheet of tissue paper around it, and then was put in the dust bag and shoved in the box. Where's the Hermes box? It was advertised with. And where is the protective felt? It was advertised with. And I knew it came with it because it was on the original Facebook listing from the individual seller who didn't sell it to me. Um, and it was in their actual sales listing under which they say that the pictures form part of the description. So I have sort of politely asked, uh, can you please send on the felt and the box? And um, which, see, I'm assuming it's to cut costs, but like, I've paid enough for this. You advertise it with the box, you sell it with the box. Straight as. I've bought a mez box bags pre-loved without a box and without the felt. But I knew that. That's the difference. I know I sound like some crazy, bitter, twisted, moany old cow. I know that. But like I say, this has been about six weeks of just being given, being given the run around. That's the thing that's bothering me the most. Um, but I know I'm persistent, I know myself. I am persistent, when I want something, I want something. By the way, I'll put links in the description box below of some other Hermes 24, 24 and size 35 that were good. One was a really good price with rebag, but for me, I was looking at adding an extra 800 pounds on for customs. Um, that wasn't worth it. So. Here he is. Here she is. This is the unboxing. Not quite the box it should have been. Here she is. This is my Hermes 2424 in size 35 in, Beren in Berenia Faubourg leather in the colour Fuave with palladium chunky chunky hardware. Now she's not perfect. I knew that. She's got some scratches here that's the tag that I need to keep on unless if I want to return her she's got some dark marks here which look worse on camera than they are on the bottom which I think is one where I hardly ever worn it I decide to apply leather balm uh, there's some scratches but again it's the bottom I'm, and she hasn't got feet I'm not going to worry too much on the back we have this lovely handy little pocket here and if I show you my iPhone 13 Pro regular size goes in super super easy um, it, it does slide the end of the phone is actually about there-ish it does go a good sort of full width of the opening so you could probably put probably I haven't tried it probably put a max um, phone in there if you wanted to I'm sorry it's nothing but dog noises at the moment sorry my neighbour's dog is loud and my beagle is now howling Sorry, I don't know why. It's probably because I've shut the door and he's not in here with me. Um, but there's too many things for him to get his nose into. So, let's show you this. You can see it's lovely stitching. Um, this is how the corners are. Yes, there's somewhere to the corners. Not bad. Is this the worst one? Not too bad, but smells amazing. Um, it is a beautiful bag, and this is why I was this persistent. The only other one I'd seen was on a company called Bagista, and I actually know from this original, not the individual seller that didn't sell it to me, um, but the seller that sold it to him, who's a lovely lady, um, I know from her that actually it found out that when I was saying, oh, it's the only one I've seen, she went, oh, that was mine. So basically she didn't manage to make a sale through Big Easter and then sold it privately through the groups. Um, so 
I haven't seen another Berenia 24, 24, size 35 anywhere. Which was why I was like on such a mission. And I'd, I'd set my heart on it. That was the problem. I'd fallen in love with the bag. I'm a crazy bag lady and I fell in love and I wanted it. And I, could, I kept picturing different outfits with her. Um, you can see there, the inside is quite generous. And so I've got stuff here to show you. And if I just get my, I think it's a 14, 13 or 14 inch laptop here. This is my work laptop. It's nice and small and sleek. And that slides in really easily. Oh, try and show you, but it's, it's a floppy bag, but I knew that's why I wanted it in Berenia. It's like a slouchy style bag. So you can see there, there is the laptop slid in nice and easily. Nothing is forced. Um, and then it just closes nice and easily. Now, one of the functionality aspects of this bag, which I knew, is that it's not the easiest to open and close as you're walking along. However, for me, most of the time when I am going to be wanting to do stuff in and out as I'm walking along, given the use that I want for this, I can just pop my travel card and my phone in the back pocket and I haven't even got to then try and open and close it. And then if I do, then I'm probably going to be stood still or sat down. Now, you will notice, if I pop her down, she really does slouch. Now, to help with that, like I say, it's a feature of the bag. I'm not going to fight it. But to help with that, I was extremely kindly gifted what's in here. So it came all protected in a nice FedEx wrapping. This was better protected than the bag. Then in this box, we have, you guessed it, an insert from Simone with their usual gorgeous polite thank you card. I didn't come prepared with I did not come prepared with scissors. Can I open this? I'm so hot and bothered. Um, I think today is one of those evenings where a cold shower is in order, right? Sorry, squeaky plastic. So here we have a bag insert with some really nice, generous pockets here. I went this time, I went for the two millimeter felt. So this is the thicker of the um, thickness, thicknesses available for the lines because again, I wanted to really add structure and being a bigger bag, I could afford to lose a little bit of space. I also went for this fabulous detachable, um, like, you know, cup or bottle holder. And actually in my Birkin 35, um, my red Birkin 35 where I have a Zumoni bag insert in there and I did the same thing, got removable. Yesterday I used that bag and I actually did remove the holder because I wanted to put some more in. I had the laptop, notebook, pair of shoes and two tubs of Marks and Spencer's nibbles in there. So I made the most of the space as well as my makeup bits and, and phones and God knows what else. So let's pop this in and let's see what difference this makes. As you can tell, I haven't even tested this out. I think with it doing this on my lap and the bag being quite floppy, it's not the easiest to get in about. Let's get it in. The fit is good. I'm just making sure I've got all the corners in. Right. I'm just going to do her up just to show you the difference. Look at that. Look at that. And if I just... And that's empty. That's, comp that's just got the insert in. Oh, I'm much happier with that. Like I say, I know it's, just, it's got a bit of slouch to it, but there's enough give the insert to give that. But yeah, and it also helps from a storage perspective as well, I think, in terms of that not being so slouchy. Um, can I still get my laptop in with the insert, that is the question, because I got this to use, you know, for work, 
Um, when you read a bit about the 24-24 in size 35, a lot of it is, um, you know, it's quite often it's referred to as a sort of, you know, it doesn't have a shoulder strap or anything. It's referred to as like a the office bag, the work bag. So I really wanted it to fit my laptop in. I also, given how much I've used, particularly my Kelly 35, I knew that it was a size that worked for me, and I quite like using the Kelly just with the handheld, um, with the handle, the top handle. This only has a top handle. So that's it, just if you don't do it up. Um, and you can see there that with the insert in, it's also got my laptop in there as well. So, yeah, look at that. There you go. Without tipping the laptop on the floor. <laughs> Don't do that, it's new for me. Um, so, perfect, and there's still plenty of room. Now, what else was I going to show you? I was going to show you things that go with this. I'll do some odd shots as well, so you can see what it looks like on me. It's not the easy, it isn't the easiest to open and close. I will say that for the 24-24. But, I think you uh, will get used to it. So, firstly, my Hermes electric sandals. Really nice and tonal. I think that's lovely. Also, my brand new fresh boots. Again, nice autumnal colours. I would think this is a colour as well that you can absolutely use year round. If I wanted to, I don't think I will, I think it would annoy me, but if I wanted to add a charm, I have this in Sesame Chai and Noir, which is the Big Ass PM, which I wanted for God knows how long. Let's attach that, but I think because it's quite thick, I think it looks a little bit too small or just at the wrong height. It's not quite doing it for me. It almost looks better like that. But anyway, there is that. Talking of colours, how does this Farve, Farve Berenia Fulberg compare to the classic Hermes Gold? Here, this is how it compares. So this is in Clemence. This is my Picatin 18 in Clemence. So you can see, very similar, we've got the same contrast stitching. But it's a lot warmer. This is a much, the Berenia is a much more warmer tan um, than the Hermes Gold. So there she is. So that's my new bag. I hope you like her. Um, I will let you know if I do get the box and felt. Um, but honestly, like, like shoving it in that box. I always didn't want to put it in the box for the mere five seconds in me just doing it to, to do the unboxing. I was like, I don't want to, like, she's probably squashed in. Luckily, there wasn't any damage, but I think more luck than judgment. I was just like, what are you doing? This is an expensive bag. You know, I know I've bought it pre-loved and I've got it less than half price of retail. I think retail for this would be at over £9,000 UK um, because of the Berenia. It's a bit like box calf. Um, Berenia is like seen as a, one of those, like it's not an exotic, it's, it's one of those leathers that's at the top end. You know, if you have like Ops, Epsom further towards the bottom, you know, Togo and Clemence, and then when you when you go up to like Boxcalf and um, Berenia, that's kind of and then you've got ostrich, lizard, cock and alligator, you know, that's that's kind of how it goes. Um, so it's a really beautiful, this is the modern take of the heritage leather, but I really wanted something in Berenia. And then when I saw this and I saw the use, that is why I pursued this as much as I did. Um, so yeah, I'm. You know what? Bring it on with the comments. I I know. You're not going to tell me anything I don't already know. But look, isn't she pretty? So, um, I conclude to say it was worth it. 
I absolutely can't wait to use her. Um, and I will keep you updated. Once I have used her a few times, I'll let you know, you know, my first impressions. Um, obviously this was just like a, this is what she is, this is what, you know, like laptop in and, and some colour comparisons. Um, I'll show you a mod shot and then I, I well, I will say goodbye now and I'll leave you some mod shots. Do take care.